Hello, everyone, and welcome to Miami, Homestead, Miami. My name is Dan. I am an average skill eye racer, posting videos, hoping to show you that it can be fun to battle in the mid pack or even in the back. And there's just a certain satisfaction to watching improvement. And so that's why I post videos here, and I hope you enjoy them. Here with the first NASCAR oval race. I guess it's not NASCAR, it's ARCA, but first oval race since I started posting videos again. And this is probably the primary content I'm going to be making, so I'm excited for it. We have a 1.8k I rating group, but there are some really fast guys. There's only one split, and so that's why you have a 6.2 all the way to a 0.2. So it should be interesting. We're probably going to have to dodge some spinners. Goal's not to spin out ourselves. But uh, yeah, I'll see you guys on the track. Thanks for joining me. All right. Here we are lining up on pit lane. I am in the upper half of the cars. My biggest concern is getting wrecked or wrecking myself. I think if we can keep it clean and save these tires, we should have a positive eye rating. Goal is for that positive eye rating. Looks like if we at least get a top 10, it'll minimize our uh, loss. But yeah. It'd be a lot of fun. I'm going to focus mostly on riding around the bottom. Because the high line is tricky here. And it's not faster most of the time. I always watch uh, Justin's YouTube videos on Maconi's setup shop or on his main channel, DJ EJ, to get some oval racing tips for each track. Highly recommend them. And riding the bottom is the way to go on the race. So here we go. Let's focus up. The pace car is off. Be ready. Green flag, and green flag. we're off. Not a great start, but it's all good. Plenty of racing. Got to save these tires, because of course, no caution, no tire change. So low. Outside, clear. Bottom does keep our tires the most fresh, so that's what we're gonna do. Make it easy. Three and four is the most slippery. And you see right there, nine loses it. Really gotta take it easy on three and four, especially on cold tires. Right now the track temps are so hot, it was 106 that these tires aren't really sticking anywhere. Yeah, I could not get to the bottom even though that was my goal. We've already pulled a big gap behind and they're pulling away from us in front. But hopefully we reel him in with some smart tire saving by riding the bottom and keeping it as straight as we can. The, the right rears will burn up because this is a loose setup on this track. So we got to be careful about that. Just trying to keep it balanced on the bottom and drive it as fast as I can. The car in P1, just set the fastest lap, 33.975. A little aggressive on the throttle there, had to slide a little. Really tough getting to the bottom of three and four. And that yellow car ahead of us is really slipping a lot. 
we have to anticipate someone losing it in front of us and us having to uh, dodge him. A lot to look out for this race, especially if we get close to the lap cars, because there are some low I ratings here. Oh, got to the bottom real good there. Oh, there he goes, losing it. Still, he's still shaking. Gotta be careful for this guy. He's been um, losing it this whole race. But at least we got some draft now. Now that the tires are warm, now we can get to the bottom. I'm really trying to keep the car balanced. And I'm hoping that'll help me uh, catch these guys later who are sliding to go fast. Are we getting on this guy? I don't think so. But I want to stay in his draft at least. Lid right there. Need to back up the brake a little more, I think. Oh, sliding. We're, we're starting to lose it a little bit. Do not want to burn these rears. Because once they're gone, you're really spinning. Oh, some lap traffic? Nah, he's in the pits. Car starting to get a little tight. But we're gonna stay not sliding in. We hit the wall. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Please get off the wall. Why are we wall riding? Come on, get off. There we go. Oh, come on. There we go. There we go. Horrible mistake. Horrible, horrible, horrible. And now we've got our I rating boss. If we can pass this guy, we need to pass this guy to get our I rating back. That's so sad. I wanted to see if my um, tire saving was working. Like I said, the car started getting tight. You saw it right there. It's okay. We can still gain this spot back. I'm just gonna keep riding low. This guy's riding high. He is burning his rubber. He's sliding. We're not worried. Still 30 laps to go. We are good, we are good. Still really upset up myself for that mistake. Another car passed me on the outside. That's all good, that's all good. We're, t we're saving these tires. I'm gonna reel these guys back in. I hit the wall so there's more drama for the YouTube video, obviously. That's why. Oh, that car hit the wall. It's a lapper. We're gonna reel these guys in on the second half for sure. Don't want to tangle them and get in contact with them now. Outside. There we go, get a good run. Oh my gosh, why did he bump me? That guy was just diving right into me. 
That's some dirty driving right there. Hopefully it's just because he got loose. But he slid right down and hit me. So I had to slow down a little bit, control myself. Number nine, what are you doing? Number nine is a little dangerous. Slide him up and down the track. These guys are driving really aggressively, and it's still too early in the race for that. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. Stay low. Their rears are probably gone, though, too. That's why they're losing it. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. Still there. Hold your line. Stay low. Clear up top. There we go. Good to clear these guys. I was getting a little scared over there. Now let's try not to hit the wall again. Let's minimize mistakes. And I think we should come away with at least 8th place. And 4i rating. 4i <laughs> rating is better than none. Yeah, those guys burn up their rubber right on the top so much. Tires again, not sticking to the bottom anymore. I'm really trying to get this car to stick to the bottom and it's not doing it. Just keep sliding up the track. Really have to back it up, I guess. Even though we have a big gap ahead, big gap behind, I still don't want to take it easy. You never know what's going to happen in these ARCA races. Because there's no caution, some crazy wreck could pull everyone together, you never know. The leader is running, 35.199. Well, I dove to the bottom really early there, and I got it to find my stick. Oh, we got lap traffic coming up. Gotta watch out for this guy. Oh, and he loses it. Oh my gosh, we do not want to get la wrecked by Lapper. Please don't wreck me, buddy. Oh, he's spinning. Oh, he's going to hit the wall. He's going to dive down. Please don't hit me, buddy. Please don't hit me. And we survive. We're good. Alright, hopefully no more lap traffic shenanigans like that. We have, we've stopped pulling away from the drivers behind. There might be some guys who are tire saving behind us. They're now making their way up the field. So we gotta be ready for those guys. We'll see. This, this can't take it easy yet. Still so much race for a tire saving guy in the back to pull a great charge and give us negative eye rating. And still plenty of race for me to mess up. So I gotta still focus.
like the 12 car behind is really coming through. He's starting again. Yeah, that green 12. I guess he looks closer in the mirrors, but I guess on the relative he's not. Trying to find a rhythm though where we're not hitting the wall. Knock on wood. Ooh, sliding a little bit. And with my pace, if I hadn't hit the wall, I feel like I might have had a chance to gain two more spots. Oh, yellow car hits the wall. This could be our chance. The leader is running. This makes up for it. We hit the wall, and we only gained point three on him. Wow, interesting. Oh, he's loose. So that yellow car is struggling with their tire wear, making them hit the wall, making them slide out. We could have a chance for a spot. Especially if we start putting the pressure on him. Could start making even more mistakes. So let's see if we can get within... If we can cut the gap to this to by a second, he might feel some pressure even. Let's see what we can do. He is right in the top. So he's probably burning that right rear. Look at him losing it. Can we gain in 13 laps? Wow, we've gained quick. We have gained quick. Just gotta make sure he doesn't make a mistake and hit us. Oh yeah, we're doing good. Dirty here, make me slide high, slid super high right there. Not what I wanted to do. We're even getting into the car ahead of this yellow one. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Let's be patient. Got several laps to pass him. Not want to make a mistake and throw it all away. Car is getting super tight now. Right front is gone. Oh, and the rear. If you ride them out balanced. They should wear equally, so expect some sliding in and tightness. So we just gotta be careful we don't wreck ourselves out. Here we go under the six. Please don't hit me, six car. Please don't hit me, six car. He's sliding. Oh, he is shaking and sliding, but we should be good. Let's see if we can clear on this turn. There we go. We're good, we're good, we got him. We're even gaining on this car ahead, I feel like. Can we catch him? Ten laps. Can we catch this guy? Oh, we are gaining. 
But we gotta watch out for this lap traffic not to wreck us. Looks like he's keeping out of the way. Let's see what we can do. I'm gonna get some draft and get slingshotted. Really happy with how the tire saving ended up being. If I hadn't hit the wall, we would be in sixth right now. Oh! And the sixth place car hits the wall himself, giving me a good chance. This lap car, though, giving me some dirty air and getting in the way. Oh, don't hit me, lap car. He hit the wall trying to avoid me, thank you. Alright, so this 13, making a lot of mistakes. We just get close enough, we could just put some pressure on and make a mess up without having to do any fancy passing. Still plenty of laps left to make this move. He's struggling up high. Going low. Not the right time to make the pass yet. Probably this one though. He's gonna block me low. But he doesn't have the tires to make it stick. We're gonna take it easy so he doesn't slide into us. Alright, here we go. Should be able to pass him. We are clear. And we should be able to pull away now. And there you go. That's the benefits of riding the bottom line right there. And not slide in the tires. So much tire saving that even if you hit the wall and make a critical error, you can still gain your spot back. There we go. And now we're starting to pull away. Very nice. Very nice, very satisfying run. The car is getting loose, so I gotta be careful not to spin it out. Look at that, I'm sliding a lot now. The rear is gone. Gotta be extra careful not to lose spots. You know, really be careful not overdriving. It could be tempting to think, oh, they're catching up, I should overdrive it, but you gotta really back it up in the corners at this point. Break the way earlier there. That's all good. Still trying to run perfect laps because even when it seems like the race is over, it's still a good time to practice. Skills you learn at certain tracks can transfer to others, so still good to keep going for it. Whoa, that really loose there. There we go, how the brake real nice. See if that's a better lap. That is a 36.06, that is a better lap. And we are coasting to the end.
Looks like those cars up ahead are uh, really close. Maybe we'll get another free spot if there's some contact. And there is no contact. The lap car did not hit the guy ahead. But that's all good. We're happy with sixth. Fixed is about where we should be, one spot better. There it is. In the arc, a car is all about tire saving in Homestead, Miami, not about side-by-side -side racing. And we're gonna come home with plus 26 I rating in sixth place. What a race, folks. Chicken flag, chicken flag. I'm very curious about my tire wear if I was able to keep it even, so I'm going to check that out before signing off. Look in the mirror, the cars behind are losing it. He's going to slam right into me. He slams into himself in the wall. Alright, let me check out this tire wear situation. We were... Wow, we really did a great job saving the right rear. That's why I wasn't sliding around like everyone else at the end. Wow, that's fun. All right, well, thank you guys for joining me, I'm trying to figure out what races to do, what content to make. So if you want more ARCA races, let me know in the comments, leave a like. Thanks for watching, have a great day.